The Vietnam veteran has always been the forgotten veteran. In 1955, American military troops were sent overseas to fight for their country in the Vietnam War. It was a very unpopular war. But Jim Wertman still fought. He's a 30-year Army veteran who served two tours in the Vietnam War. When we came home, we were spit on. When we came home, we were cursed. When we came home, we couldn't even wear our uniform. But today, they're being honored. On the same day troops came home from the war 45 years ago, dozens of vets rode their motorcycles from Carolina Honda to the front steps of the State House. They rode past a Vietnam Army Jeep and a medevac helicopter. The Huey medevac was built in 1968. It's flown over 2,500 miles in combat in the Vietnam War, and it was used to help injured soldiers get to the hospital. Governor Henry McMaster helped pay his respects through his own proclamation that dedicated the day to the vets. The United States cannot be strong without strong people who are willing to fight when the time comes. A box containing the names of the fallen South Carolinian Vietnam veterans was presented at the steps. All 982 names were written on yellow ribbons to represent those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. The tribute today was a first, one that Wertman wants to make a tradition. I hope that this is a beginning of the American public to kind of open their hearts to the Vietnam veterans. Open their hearts and never forget. Tori Gessner, Carolina News.